attention, son. This is for your own good. Don't worry. It's just me, the transit TV teacher. And yes, it's that time of the year again, Halloween. Like most holidays in America and Western civilization, Halloween has a history, a story. The name Halloween is largely a contraction of the term evening before All Hallows Day. The word hallowed means holy or consecrated. In Christian society centuries back, November 1st was designated as All Hallows Day to honor the saints who had lived up to heavenly standards in their earthly lifetimes and were thought now to be in heaven. The next day, November 2nd, was All Souls Day, honoring those who hadn't been quite as holy as the saints, probably most of us. Now, the timing of the Halloween holiday may be connected to the ancient Celts of England, who had a festival around the end of October to celebrate the end of summer. Certain symbols became associated with All Hallows' Eve. For example, turnips and pumpkins were carved into jack-o'-lanterns with human faces to represent souls residing in purgatory, the spirit world somewhere between heaven and earth. Trick-or-treating also has religious significance. In the Middle Ages, beggars went door to door on All Souls Day and, in return for praying for the dead from that home, asked for and were given food. As time went on, I guess the beggars got more pushy and, instead of praying, delivered a friendly threat, trick or treat. In other words, give me a treat or I'll play a trick on you. In Scotland, children did this while guising or wearing a disguise to conceal their identities. To make the threat more ominous and convince the homeowners to fork over the treat, their costumes became scarier. Nowadays, the beggars are mostly kids in superhero costumes who just want a piece of candy. So, if you don't want to experience the trick of having your house egged or your trees strewn with toilet paper, it's best to keep some Snickers or some Milky Ways around for All Hallows' Eve Halloween, coming October 31st to a neighborhood near you. I'm the Transit TV teacher, Justin Vior. Reptons speak with such a screech. You'll shake and shudder. And now it's time for extra credit. Email your answers to extracredit at transit-tv.com.